Um, thank you to um, everybody for turning out on a Sunday. I'd also like to thank uh, Deputy Prime Minister Maud Olison for uh, turning up today. Um, I'd like to recognise um, Chairman Lee in his passionate pursuit of a passionate brand. And uh, I believe he will be a magnificent custodian of this really important worldwide brand. I'd also like to thank Ford Motor Company uh, via Mr. Booth. During these exceedingly difficult and dark times, frankly, we may not even be standing here were it not for the support of Ford Motor Company in more than just financial manner, but in support of the company. Volvo employees are exceedingly grateful for the support that Ford Motor Company has given it. More importantly, or most importantly, frankly, though, is my thanks that I would like to give to the thousands of Volvo employees around the world, and of course, our dealers and our suppliers. We have a, an incredible relationship with our unions, both here and in Belgium. And in fact, uh, you may have noticed this morning that all the unions absolutely support the deal, um, and they are prepared to go on record to say the management team have um, stood steadfast with the employees and with the unions to develop and indeed execute a fantastic plan that allowed us not just to survive the downturn, but to thrive in the future. Because that's where the brand deserves to be, and that is exactly where we are going to be. Our plan is being executed. In fact, our plan is working, as Mr. Booth alluded to. In fact, we're ahead of our plan. We are actually recovering faster at a sales pace than the premium segment recovery around the world. And even as I speak, we're in discussions to look to take up our production capacity capability up uh, this year to over 390,000 vehicles. And to put that into perspective, Last year, we were around 330,000. So we are on an absolute trajectory for success, but we're not going to stop in our pursuit of gaining that success. The S60 that you see to my left is just one further step in the fabulous product lineup that we have. Because during the difficult times, we continued to invest, and Ford allowed us to continue to invest. And this is just one product that not only looks great when you get the chance to drive it, you'll see really the next evolution of Volvo. Because Volvo, as Chairman Lee said, will remain Volvo. Safety will always be the pinnacle of our brand pyramid. Brand uh, environmental friendliness will also be at the top. And hopefully, you've witnessed that our Drive-E products are industry-leading in environmentally friendliness. And when we wrap those two attributes, like the S60, like the XC60, like the V60 that we're about to launch, in our modern interpretation of Scandinavian design, I think Volvo has a unique opportunity in the premium world, and one that we will realize under the custody of Geely. I've had the opportunity to spend some time with Chairman Lee and his management team. And I can tell you, in my opinion, they absolutely understand and value the Volvo brand DNA. And as Chairman Lee alluded to, it is important and I believe will be executed in such a manner that Geely and Volvo will be separate brands in the marketplace and in the thoughts and minds of customers. So we have a plan that's working. We're already on an excellent trajectory. You saw our reduced losses already in the fourth quarter. And with this opportunity, we have an immediate plus opportunity in China alone. Because although we feel good about selling 30,000 plus vehicles in China, which is excellent, it's a 15, 16, probably as we speak, it's gone up to 17 million industry. And with the help of the Geely team, we can really take our full share opportunity in that immense market. 
Longer term, the opportunities, I think, are almost immeasurable. Like every opportunity, it only happens if you grasp it. And I encourage, in fact, I know that the, employee, the employees of Volvo all around the world, Chairman Lee, are absolutely ready to stand and grab this opportunity. So we look forward to it. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Liz.